All right, Smith Valley, uh, let's go ahead and make a beat. All right, we're going to make our own beats in Soundtrap. Okay, this is part of the week three assignment. Uh, step one, open Soundtrap and then click Enter Studio, select Music. Now, just a quick stipulation, this is on the computer. If you're using the mobile version, I'll put a little update in here. Um, it's a little bit different to get into the software. Walk, it's the walkthrough is a little different. I'm going to do a separate video on the mobile, or if I can fit into this one, I'll, I'll show you on the iPad or on the iPhone um, how to do the same assignment on there. It's possible. It's going to look different, but it's possible. Okay, so open Soundtrap, enter studio, select music. Okay, so I'm going to go to my Soundtrap. And when I first log in, it's going to have all the, the documents that I have done or that I've looked at. Um, and I'm going to go to enter studio. All right. So under enter studio, it's going to first give me a choice on the PC version or the computer version. It's going to give me a choice between music or podcast. I select music. On the um, mobile version, I think it has demos listed um, or just a blank project. I just do blank project. Okay, we're going to create something out of thin air. We're going to make music. How do we do it? Title or song, make my own beat. So here we go title. So we can just follow the directions. Add a new track, choose drums. So right here, add new track. On the mobile, it's just gonna say drums. On this one, it's gonna say drums and beats. So I'm gonna say drums and beats. Now on the computer version, you have this pattern option. On the mobile version, it's just gonna be instrument and maybe piano roll. I don't even know if that's gonna be in there. It might just be instrument. On instrument, you actually will have an interface. You can tap the rhythms. And as soon as you start tapping, it starts doing this. It's not recording right now. So on the computer, you can do it too. You can tap out the rhythms and turn this volume down so we have a better balance and pull out your eardrums. So bass drum, kind of a snare, tom. Now this, you can change the type of instrument. You can change the type of drum, all right here. Okay, all the different types of drums, drum kits. Um, you can hear examples. Okay, I like that one. All right, now what we wanna do is we actually wanna build a pattern. So we're going to actually put this pattern right here. So let's just undo that. Just a minute. Oh, and here's the thing on Soundtrap. I always want to make sure my little cursor is where I want to start. If I'm going to enter something, I want to start right there. Click on patterns. It's going to turn this, what is a loop, and turn the loop off into a one measure loop. Okay, because we're going to create a, a one measure pattern. So I'm making my own beat. Um, create the pattern as pictured below. So we have kick, snare, and hi hat closed. And here is an idea of the one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, which is 16th notes. We usually talk about it as one, T, te, ta. So let's put a T in front of each of those. One, T, te, ta, all the way through. Um, so we want this beat. We want a kick drum on beat one and three, snare on two and four, and then hi-hat closed on the downbeat, upbeat of each of the beats. So I'm gonna create that. Kick, snare, hi-hat, kick. So I have a very simple down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now my audio might be delayed, what I'm saying versus this. There's a delay with all the setup. So I built that. All right, that is my first beat. We talk about here what that is. <clears throat> Step four, play around with the settings and get the sound of the drums just the way you want, and then loop this over four measures. Okay, so I've got my settings just right. So I chose this kit. You can switch to another one if you want. Jazz brushes. Let's go play. Okay. So there's a lot of variety here. These are kits. You can also do more drum machines.
All right, so find one you like. This is your preference. You're making your own music. Then what we're going to do is we're going to loop this over four measures. There's a little loop tool here. Going to hit the circle, click and drag. I want four full measures right there. And I can see that that is over measure five. Um, make sure that you've spent some time learning how to navigate. Um, um, what is this? <laughs> uh, no, uh, Soundtrap. I'm sure you've done time on how to <clears throat> navigate Soundtrap so you understand how to scroll through, how to change the size if you want to shrink it. And see closer up each measure. One, two, three, four. Measure one, measure four starts here. All right, what is the next step? Step five, add a new track and choose drums and beats. Create a new drum track using similar settings. But this time, add variation. So you can add more kick or snare hits, like these examples below. There's other patterns you can do. Um, you can add other instruments into the pattern. You can change the sound of the drums completely, um, however you want to do it. When you're done, loop it over another eight measures. So we're going to fill measures five through 12. Okay, that's the instructions for step five and six. So I'm going to add a new track drums and beats. I'm going to put my starting point right here because I want to loop in that spot. So in here you can do another one. You can type in another little rhythm and just see what it sounds like. Now that's a machine again. I don't necessarily like that sound. I think it's kind of dry. I'm going to change that sound. Let's go with. All right. So I want a different sound than the original one because this is when the song changes. This would be this for four measures would be my introduction. This would be like the main part of my verse. So introductory and then something new. So let's not keep it too crazy. There's that original rhythm. All right, so not too crazy. I can add something else in here. Okay, now with that hi hat sound, I don't know if I like this, so I'm going to change my drum. Let's go back up here to these kits. These are actual drum kits, sounds versus machines versus something that's heavily processed. Okay, all different types of timbres for drums. Let's go. Let's see that one. That's kind of okay. I'll, I'll mess with that. I might, I might not keep that, but I like it for now. All right, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna zoom out. So I can see more of this because I'm going to go eight measures, right? So I'm going to close the screen here. And let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I should be up to the start of measure 13. It's eight measures. Now let's see what I've got so far. Four measure introduction. And the main verse or song will start here, the main melody. So I'll mess with that, I'll, I'm, I'll change that around. I'm probably not gonna keep that kit, but again, this is all a rough draft, we're just starting. All right, next step, that was step six. Step seven, do it again one more time, um, but this time loop for 16 measures for drum loop 13 to 28, all right? So let's do it again. This time I'm actually gonna showcase what you can do on a mobile or if you just tap out the rhythm. So I'm gonna get my starting point here and I want to, let's do uh, this instrument. And again, it defaults to that. Let's go to 60s. So I can use my keyboard, bass drum is the key.
rim shot, got some hi-hat cymbals. Edge of the cymbals. And on a mobile, it'll just be a tap interface. Crash cymbal. Okay, E. My toms. Ride cymbal. All right, I like the ride cymbal. Let's go. Just don't like the bass drum. There we go. All right, so let's record. I'm going to loop. Let's create a loop right here. So I just want to record that a little bit so I can loop it. All right, so it did not carry. Let's do that again. Uh, Right now, I can go in and edit the notes on a piano roll, or I can see the pattern of it right here. Quantize. Okay, anytime you record something, quantize is the best way to make sure it's accurate. But I'm gonna go back in and do this, um, just because it's more convenient this way. I want a ride symbol here. Again, you can mess with the kits, see what you like better. Yeah, that works. All right, and so you can play, we'll get a sound that you like. All right, so that is that. I'm gonna go 16 measures. So in order to see that, I'm actually gonna do Alt or Option and zoom my mouse wheel, we'll shrink this. All right, so if this is eight measures, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it should be up to the end of measure 29. 28, yep. Yeah. Now last step is go back to your original and copy it into the last bit so we get this picture. I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on that, copy. Now again, where's my cursor? That's where it's going to paste it, and which one of these is highlighted. Okay, want that one, and Kaplawi. All right, and that is my song. Now, uh, this is going to need a lot more work, because this is just the rhythm start of it. Um, there's a lot more editing that will need to happen to make this sound the way I want it. And I can change tempo. Uh, we're eventually going to add a key because we're going to add a melody into this the following week. Uh, let's just see what we got. Good straight ahead, clean red, good backbeat. There we go. Don't really like that much. All right, and that'll go on for there. Let's hear this part. Let's hear the transition. Transition point. Back to the finished part of the song. We are done. There it is. Okay, so that is my song. I'm going to make sure I hit save. All right, let's see what the instructions say. When you're done, you should have it looks like this. Click save, take a screenshot, add it to the worksheet for week three. Okay, and week three worksheet was a little bit trouble, trouble so if you um, want to put it on week four, that's fine. Um, once you've submitted that, you can continue playing with the settings. You can add some loops, add some bass lines, other mixes, and just get used to Soundtrap. There's a lot of things in here, guys. Okay, this little 
purple button is your loop tool. Um, there's some really neat drum and beat things in here. Um, I mean, there's the list is is massive. So just finding what you want is kind of tricky. So here's there's fills, okay, which is a drum fill. Just a short little thing to go in between. Um, I might put that as a closer. And I'm going to put it in a new track. Um, let's see here. Let's put that right. There, I'm going to zoom in. All right, so you can get it exactly the way you want it. All right, I may not keep that, that's not a big deal. So you can add that in as a whole nother little track. So I'll layer it on top. And I could turn down the volume of my Latin kit. So you can mess with these volumes. Some things you can put on the same. There we go. Some things you can put on the same track, um, right here, because they're both. If it's a MIDI versus an audio recording, those are different things. So I can layer that in. I can loop that across to give some continuity. I can even um, edit. There we go. Fade out to fade into that. All right so mess with it get, have some fun with it um, we're going to layer this beat we just created um, into a melody is going to come into it in the future so next week we're going to create a melody uh, for week four and um, then week five we'll probably take a new melody and mix it into this and see just what we create um, have some fun with this there's a lot you can do in soundtrap um, it's really really cool um, I encourage you to, to check it out. If you create something you really like, um, you're welcome to um, share it with me. There's a little collaboration button. Okay, you can invite. All right, so there's a way to, to find me in there. I'll, I should pop up pretty easily. Um, let's actually see if I type my last name. Okay, I am me. I can't invite myself. But you can invite me to it. Um, that it, you Guys, you're creating stuff, and that's awesome. I love it. Um, I've been... Uh, a lot of people have been sending me and sharing their beats with me. If you're just sending something that's five minutes of the same sound, I'm not going to accept that. Um, but create something that's unique, that's exciting, that's interesting. Give it a title that makes it unique. Um, and we'll see where it goes. All right. That is a quick, <laughs> not really quick, that's an overview of Soundtrap stuff. Um, if I need to, I'll try and do a mobile version of this. If anybody's really struggling or you only have a mobile version, let me know. I'll put together a tutorial of how to do this on mobile, how to tap out your own rhythms. You can actually tap your own rhythms on the screen, um, like a, playing a drum and uh, to create your beat. All right, so that's our fundamental rhythmic um, structure for our song. We'll eventually do more. I hope you guys are doing good. Keep making music and I'll see you soon.